Okay, anyway, yeah, we got Mr. Phil X here uh, from man? Bon Jovi. So that's pretty cool because, you know, they're one of, still one of the hardest working bands out there 30 years into it. Yeah, I love when people say, man, that guy's just a hack playing with the has been band. Oh! <laughs> and I mean, like, well, if by has been you mean selling out stadiums, then I'll be in a has been band. Yeah, like, yeah. okay. <laughs> no, 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 massive, you know, not. Bon Jovi's not exactly my brand of music, but I have massive respect for them as musicians and as a tour, as a, just as hardworking people. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, and you know, there's no question, John, John, Bo, uh, John Bon Jovi has a great voice, still has a great voice, mm -hmm. and you know, you, he was his ass on. Yeah, and I, I, I no auto tune learned, in that band. I learned from him because he wa he goes on stage and if it's a two and a half hour show or a three hour show in Europe, he's in the ring for like the whole time. He is working hard, and he's. And he works the entire audience. It's pretty awesome to see. That's awesome. Okay, so moving on to the guitar. We're here at Framus Warwick, so I haven't done a video on Framus really. I got to play that that uh, Wolf Hoffman guitar in my like priest riff demo, and then I wrote somebody told Which me. Which is a V. Yeah, yeah. Woo! You and it was a V. Yeah, oh yeah. And then somebody told me it was worth eight grand, and I'm like, here, have it back. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me all about this. This is your uh, This is uh this is my XG. Um, and how it came to be was I was here at the factory, and I, uh, this is the only one with the pickguard. Wait, there's two with the pickguard. Um, I was at the factory, and they're like, we're talking guitars, and we're talking factory, and I think this whole village of Warwick Framus is pretty incredible. Um, Hans Peter was, hey, you know, thanks for coming to base camp. We'd love to build you a guitar. And I was like, sounds great. Um, but there's not really a frame of that turns my crank. And he's like, well, what would you like? I go, I did see a Warwick Jack Bruce bass, which is very similar. And if you made that a famous guitar, I would totally play that. And they're like, well, done. Because you don't know what someone's going to say to that, right? Yeah. Like, Mom, we want to hear that Warwick. No. He's like, <laughs> done. So uh, Marcus Spangler, who is the head, head of production, head of design and all that stuff, he comes over and he goes, what kind of neck do you like? And I just had a, just threw out like a 58, 59 burst with a little wider at the nut. And he walked away. And we, the, the conversation continued with Hans Peter. And then Marcus comes back in an hour and, and like, like this. And he handed me my dream neck with frets wow. in an hour. And I was like, I didn't give him a profile or anything. I just shouted that out and he made it. And I'm thinking, wow. And then... And at the end of the day, it had a body. The next morning, it had the pickup and the hardware, and I was playing it. Man, that's fast. So it was really, I was really, wait a minute, you guys made my dream guitar in uh, two days. We just point, made the points a little pointier and, um, and changed some of the contours to make it a little, like, I love the SG, always have, but to me, I'm a bigger guy. It's, it feels like a toy. And this has a lot of mass. It's like a way thicker guitar. And, and, to me, it's, this is my dream pickup. This is like a, an Arcane PX90. Okay. And this is this was a mistake. This is actually the first team built XG, which is the second um, the lower price point. Okay. And they actually they accidentally because it was the first uh, team built, they actually put a toggle for the humbucker, which is a split series parallel. Okay. So a P90 is single coil, so it doesn't need anything mm -hmm. like that. So they just put a kill switch in that I don't use. Just for looks, cosmetics. Cool. Right, and uh, we got you plugged into. If we can get a close up on the amp there, the Joya. Yeah, we're. Um, I don't know it's what it's gonna sound like on your computer, <laughs> but in here it sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> So there you go. That's uh, Phil X, Tom Quayle, and a uh, little Tom bit of Framus Guitars. Tom Quayle. Tom Phil X. Joy Amps and Coffee Custom Cabs. Tom Quayle. Here we go. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Thanks, uh, this thanks for having me. Oh, thanks, thanks I, so I much for being I, on the show, man. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. Chase, thank you. All right. Yeah, 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 cool. Okay, so from GitCon, I still got one more after this, but this is my second to last video from GitCon. We are out of here. See you. <laughs> All right. Thanks again.